Hey guys and welcome to another First Impressions video, the video game series in which we look at a recently released game and I give you my first thoughts and impressions on it. Today we're looking at Stonekeeper's King Aurelius. I can't pronounce uh, names like that for Toffee so I do apologise if I've pronounced it wrong. Uh, which is an RTS game. It's got a really interesting art style um, but unfortunately that's where the enjoyment kind of ends. As always, we'll look through the settings first and then we'll jump straight into the gameplay. Um, you do kind of have to hover over each of these items to try and figure out what they mean because they just go with symbols for some reason. But yeah, we'll look through the settings first and then we'll jump into the gameplay. The options are a little lackluster, I'm not going to lie. It's all on this one scroll down button. Um, there isn't really any graphics options, so to speak. It is 2.5D, very flat animation style, so I can understand why it doesn't need that many options. But either way, we've got sounds and music, your sound and music volume, granted they are not at 100%. Your language, full screen, interface scaling, unit acceleration on or off, hotkeys for global map, and then your hotkeys for local map as well. So... It's got everything that it kind of needs, but I don't know, I, I, I don't like it when I've got to scroll through things and it's all in one sort of options menu with no real sort of segregation, if you like, to make it easier to find the option you're after. All right, let's jump into the game and see what it's all about. Okay, so we're on the global map. As you can see, we have the Order's Castle here. And we have like an undead camp, we've got the zombie layer, and you have to move. Now, this is the first sort of area that I've got an issue with, because you can move around anywhere on the map, and you only get a certain amount of moves, but then once you've run out of moves, you just refresh them. So it's, I don't understand why you have a movement limit if you're just going to be able to refresh that movement limit as many times as you want to. Kind of defeats the point. But anyway, once you've got past that, you've got numerous different areas that you can go to. They're going to be areas. You've got a story that's going on. Again, the artwork in this game is fantastic. Really, really big fan of the artwork. But yeah, as you see here, look, so we've got one move left. And you just hit this button here and it will refresh your movement points for no extra cost that I can see. And you can just run around and you've got research and stuff that you can do. Um, and again, you run out of moves and you just refresh. It's just an extra click that really doesn't need to be done. Then you jump in. So, you have your team here. You can zoom out and you can see the grid that you can move on. It's an RTS. It's very simplistic and not ideal though. I'm not going to lie. So, you've got your different enemies here. It takes a long time for each sort of animation to finish and there's not really a great explanation on chances or you know how much health you've actually got or anything like that but you can see the movement turn down here so you can see when it's going to be your go again and then you've got you know captives here that you can get new people for new recruits it generally seems to be from what I've seen playing the game, more beneficial to use your um, ranged attack wherever possible because if you hit with a the melee, they can counter. If you hit with a ranged attack, they can't. So it, it's much easier to just go ranged, but obviously you've only got a certain amount of ammo for that. So if you run out of ammo, you're going you're gonna to be in for a bad time. You're going to have to melee once you've done all that. You can destroy... Um, areas as well so you can get yourself some um, less blockages and stuff you can use bombs you can try and use bombs to damage people but they will move out the way the actual animations themselves aren't fantastic it's very um, reminds me of old like board games and stuff where you just move your character in that way they don't actually have animations as such and it would be nice if the actual narration of the story was voice acted. They do have some voice acting in here, but not a huge amount. And uh, 
it would be nice if they did add a bit more voice acting there. But that's the game. You you have to, you know, go through and try and kill as many people as possible, get the extra goodies that you can, some potions, etc. to sort of win and beat the enemy and move on with the story. As an RTS, it's okay. It could very definitely do with being, you know, a bit more complex maybe having a bit more explanation of how certain things work but on the whole it's not terrible the story i don't actually know what's going on it's just you know war torn you choose your faction or the faction gets chosen for you and you you move in and do the thing that you need to do so yeah there you have it this is stone keepers check it out guys let me know what you think Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you all next time. Ciao, ciao.